Hey rugby fans, thank you very much for pressing play on this video. It's great to have you with us and it's great to speak to our guest today. Hello Fiona Fletcher. How uh, How's it all going for you? How's lockdown? Yeah, lockdown's okay. So I'm still working full time, so that's keeping me busy. Um, I'm back with my family, so we've got a garden, which is nice. And yeah, everyone's happy and healthy. So I think that's the most important thing at the minute. You've been, yeah, you said you've been, you've been working as well. What else have you been doing? Uh, to kind of pass the time, guess spending time with family? Yeah, um, trying to do, uh, like, keep fit, do some different things. I've been really enjoying my um, getting out on my bike. Um, it's it's a, bit, a bit of countryside around here, so I've been cycling quite a lot, so that's been really great. Um, yeah, and then just the normal stuff, you know, lots of Netflix and uh, trying to read as well to not look at a screen, but, yeah. Has it been difficult trying to keep fit? Have you been sent a fitness regime by Harlequins, women? Uh, yeah, we were at the start of lockdown and um, there was a bit of a, a programme sent out um, before people were further and things like that. Um, yeah, but obviously it's quite difficult with without the gym equipment, but you've everyone's got a pair of trainers to go running and cycling and stuff. So, uh, yeah, hopefully everyone's ticking over. I don't want to uh, make any assumptions, but as a second row, do you like running long distances? Uh, no, I don't love it. <laughs> I, I, I think I'd rather run than uh, be in the gym, though, to be fair. Yeah, fair enough, especially in this weather as well. Yeah, definitely. That's... Weather helps. So let's let's just talk really quickly about, I guess, the sudden end to the season. How frustrating was it? How annoying was it that the season ended as it did, with especially with the progress that you you've done throughout the season? Yeah, it's obviously disappointing to not finish it. I think we felt like we were really getting some progress and some momentum going into the last, latter part of the season. And um, yeah, we're on track for a semi-final, hopefully at home at the Stoop, which would have been great. And yeah, hopefully another, it would have been a, a chance to get that title that we've been really after for the past couple of seasons. So yeah, understandable why it happened, but yeah, it is disappointing. Um, but the work we've put in this year will will carry forward into into next season, I guess. Especially with the season that you were having personally as well. I mean, you surely you must have felt that this was probably one of your best seasons that you've ever had since you started playing, though. Uh, I don't know about that. I was I, I was really enjoying playing. Um, obviously, there's a great squad and a great set of forwards at Quinn's. So, um, yeah, I think the balance has been really good in that forward pack, and everyone's got their different different uh, talents and um, strengths. And I think we really play to each other on that, um, which helps us helps us win games and uh, get out those good performances. I have to ask, um, you know, obviously every athlete will say that they could go on and win it. Do you feel like you could have gone on and win, won the title this season? Yeah, definitely. But yeah, like you say, everyone will say that. But um, yeah, I think we were really building some momentum. Um, so yeah, I think if we, obviously, whoever you play in that top four, it's going to be a hugely competitive game. But um yeah, there was no reason why we couldn't have gone on to win it. Look, I mean, you your performances cannot be faulted over this season, so much so that you have been included in our team of the year. Um, yeah, what are your thoughts about that? <laughs> um, yeah, it's very flattering. I didn't, uh, obviously, have, there's loads of great players out there. And so, yeah, um, yeah, thanks very much for including me and for all the nice comments people have said. You're, you're a very, very modest person, I have to say. And the, <laughs> <laughs> the panel we had, um, if you hadn't, so you've probably seen the episode. For those that haven't seen, we had a panel of experts from the women's rugby community. Rachel Burford, your uh, colleague at Harlequins Women, but also Johnny Hammond and Fiona Thomas as well from Telegraph Women's Sport. And it was almost unanimous across the board. I think the, there was a long list of second rowers. Um, yeah. And I think one of the things we posted on social media that for some reason this year seems to be the year of the second row because there are so many high quality individuals um, out of everyone that you've played this season. Who has been your in the second row, just second row only? Who's been your <laughs> toughest, toughest competitor, would you say? Um, I think there's a couple. Um, Zoe Oldcroft at, at Gloucester is always really tough to play against. It's great in the line out. And I think Ro Burnfield at Richmond, she's so tough, um, so fierce around the pitch. Um, if you get a stray boot at the bottom of a ruck, it's likely to be Ro. All accidental, but um, <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think Ro. 
Okay. And you mentioned Zoe Alcroft there. She was actually chosen as your your partner in the second row. What, what do you think it'd be like to play alongside her? I think it'd be, be a good opportunity to play with Zoe. Yeah, I think it'd be great. Um, I think we'd complement each other quite well. Nice. Okay. Well, look, before we go, we do have a couple of fan questions as well. I don't know if you've seen our, our latest video that we posted tonight. Um, oh, I haven't. You haven't. Okay. So what we've done, obviously, we've chosen a team of the season. Tonight was our final episode in the series. And we actually had our players of the season. Um, and we awarded an, a number of accolades. And one of the accolades was forward of the season across the whole league. And you've actually been selected. <laughs> as, oh, there's even a trophy. There's even a trophy. There's even a trophy. I think we said this before. The RFU, England Rugby, Premier 15s, whatever it is, they have, you know, they've declared the season null and void. But to us, it still matters. All your efforts still matter. And you've been awarded uh, the Women's Rugby Show 2019-2020 Premier 15s forward of the season. So congratulations. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Can't pass it through the screen, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's really cool. Thank you. Um, and I don't know if you want to uh, if you want to make a little exception speech. <laughs> Oh, well, rugby's a team game, so I guess I have to thank my forwards at Quinns <laughs> um, for letting me play how I normally play. And obviously, Jock, Karen Finlay, she's been a massive support over not just this season, but several seasons. So, yeah, she's um, really helped me uh, gain confidence and, I guess, be the player I am now. So, thank you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And, yeah, hopefully when we next see you, we will give you this in person. Oh, great. So, just a shame we can't do it now, unfortunately. But congratulations yeah. on that. Thank very, you. very quickly, before we go into the fan questions, just I have to ask this. Um, obviously, earlier this week, Gary Street announced that he was stepping away from the role. How much will he be missed at the club? Oh, hugely. Um, everyone who knows Gary knows that he's got like a big personality. He's always got practical jokes he's playing on us uh he tries to convince us he's fluent in french um but aside from that he's obviously he's got a great relationship with the players and is a is a great coach particularly with our attack and um he has a lot of involvement in the backs as well um so yeah it'd be big shoes to fill but he's i don't think he's going far so i'm sure we'll see him around let's get into the fun stuff so we've had some really good fan questions um Stan, Stan. Wilson or Stan, we'll just call him Stan. Stan's asked uh, your the favourite game you've ever played in with Quinns. He's been, he says, been watching right from the start. So he's obviously been a fan for years. Favourite game you've played in for Quinns? Um, I think so. Big game at Twickenham in December. That was a massive, massive occasion for us. Um, it was a great opportunity to play at Twickenham and um, after the men there. So that was great. Um, can I have more than one. Um, and I guess the very very first season when we were kind of uh, um, winning the premiership um, before the TP15s I think that was a great great game there as well and then obviously getting running out for my 50th appearance was really great as well okay brilliant three answers there so that's good (laughs) sorry we'll bend the rules it's all right it wasn't my question it was Stan's question there you go (laughs) Stan, you've got three, three answers there. Okay, next question uh, from Jamaral. Jamaral uh, has asked, any pre-match rituals or superstitions? Um, no, not really. I think I normally eat the same breakfast, but I think that's because um, I know I can stomach it before I play. So I'd always have a porridge <laughs> for breakfast, but um, I don't really have any other superstitions or anything like that. No? Okay. Well, this is this leads us on to our, our next question by your teammate, <laughs> Edwards, who has asked, how many pre-match crunchies would you say you've consumed in your career? So <laughs> let's just go back to the last question. Have you got any pre-match rituals or superstitions? <laughs> <laughs> and we can maybe answer two questions in uh, one. So maybe not as much this season, but I, f- I did go through a phase of eating at least half a crunchy before a game and then maybe having the second half at half time. Nice. So yeah, approximate yeah. number for Chloe? Oh, too many to count. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stoop Life asks, oh, who's your, who's your dream partner in the second row? 
So we'll take that across the whole of women's rugby. It could be men's rugby as well. It doesn't matter. Any of rugby. <laughs> Who is your dream partner in the oh, second oh. row? Um, so at Quinn's, I would love to have played more with Zoe Sainer, giant. We're, <laughs> we're, we're great friends. And um, yeah, unfortunately, she's been injured um, for a lot of this season. But she's an absolute machine and is a uh, breakdown queen at hitting those rucks. So, who's been your favourite partner in your career, like second row partner in your career? I've played a lot of back row as well. So, okay. <laughs> really, this season I've played second row the most. Um, yeah, I've been I've enjoyed playing with Abby when she's been fit. Abby Scott. Um, we actually played together when uh, under England under twenties um, in the second row. And then it's come full circle another seven, eight years later and we're back back playing second row together. So that's been great to see how we both got on and both developed. So. Where do you prefer playing? Oh, I would have always said back row, but <laughs> um, the back row at Quinns is obviously ridiculously competitive with four current internationals there this season. And we had a bit of an injury crisis in the second row. So I always claimed I was the emergency second row, but um seems to have worked out this season. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm going. To, don't think I'm moving back to the back row much, am I? Your next question. Moving on. Uh, Lee J Gold has said, uh, "What's your oh, what's your favourite thing in the world?" This, okay, this is a two part question. What's okay. your favourite thing in the world? I'm a big fan of cheese. Okay, big fan of cheese. So the next question, I can see, I can see <laughs> Lee, Lee J Gold's thought process here. Would you give it up for a year to have Quinns win the league? So would you give up cheese for an entire year? If Quinns, if it meant that Quinns could win the league, uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I'd have to find some. Well, I like all food, so I'd, I'd just end up replacing it with something. Next question: Mick asks, any dreams of more caps on the international stage? Would you see if you could represent another country to play in next year's Rugby World Cup? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so. Um, I've just been really enjoying playing at Quinns, so. Um, yeah, and with a full time job and things like that, it's it's very um difficult to have any aspirations to go further at the minute. Okay, no uh, no looking into that Samoan heritage. <laughs> We'd have to look pretty hard, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tribzy says, who would you like to take over from Gary Street as head coach? Oh, um, I'd love to see someone with, who's had loads of experience or someone who's even been at the, involved in like top flight men's games and uh, and, and teams to not necessarily see it as um, a step down, but I think it's a great opportunity to get involved in a in a in Quinns and in a women's rugby, which is obviously going places in the next few years. So yeah, any anyone who's got some great experience would be fab. And last question: Can Fee give us a stellar rendition of her first cap? England under 20 <laughs> song. Oh, I'm not going to sing it now. I, I can't sing at all. Um, I I can tell you what it was though, but um, I sang S Club 7, Reach for the Stars on the front of a bus, um, which I'm sure all like new caps will tell you was probably more scary than getting running onto the pitch for your first cap. <laughs> no rendition? Well, no. <laughs> Tone deaf. Absolutely Maybe next huge. time. <laughs> well, listen, Fee Fletcher, thank you so much for, for talking with us. Do give the, the latest video a watch because you'll see all the nice things that everyone has said about you. Congratulations again on winning this award. I'm sorry that we can't give it to you in person now, but hopefully we will have a chance next season. Great. Thank you very much for having me. And thanks for all the kind comments uh, in, yeah, in the team of the season. And folks, thank you very much for watching. If you could do so, give this video a little like, subscribe to the Women's Rugby Show YouTube channel, follow us across social media, and as always, tell everyone that you know about the Women's Rugby Show. Thank you so much. You've been great. We'll see you soon. Bye.